Thank you, Tarkan, for the nice introduction. And I want to really thank uh, Nexenta for giving us an opportunity to come here and share with you our excitement and our vision for Flash Transform Data Center. Uh, and uh, it was great uh, to hear Janet. I'm a UC Berkeley graduate too, so go Bears. Before I start my presentation, I have to point out that during the course of the presentation, I'll be making certain forward-looking statements, so please <laughs> refer to the risk factors in public filings we make from time to time. <laughs> SanDisk is a 26-year-old company. Uh, there were three of us that started 26 years ago. In fact, you can see me to the right of your screen up there. Uh, we have been dedicated to Flash technology for these 26 years. 26 years ago, flash technology was just a concept, and today it is a $30 billion plus industry. We have been focused on advancing flash technology through 17 generations over these uh, 26 years, and that has led to tremendous reduction in cost of flash memory, and that has really spawned uh, myriads of applications of flash, some of which we'll talk about today. Over the course of last four quarters, SanDisk revenue is $6.5 billion and we are one of the leaders in the flash memory industry. And our business is about two-third commercial and one-third retail. Let me just give you a little snapshot of our business. We are focused on uh, driving uh, one-stop shop for flash at SanDisk, enterprise and hyperscale. This is the biggest growth area, fastest growth area for our business. I'll talk a lot more about this later on. SanDisk uh, solid-state drives are in all major notebook computers that are out there, one of the uh, fastest growing businesses in recent times. Uh, Flash is also embedded inside all mobile devices, smartphones and tablets. We are a supplier to all major handset and tablet manufacturers. And of course, I'm sure you all use Flash, SanDisk Flash in your uh, digital cameras, USB flash drives and others, and SanDisk is number one market leader globally, our products selling through 260,000 storefronts worldwide. But what I'm most excited about and what I'm here to talk about is really the trends in data, explosive growth in data. If you look at uh, smartphones today, 450 million pictures are uploaded every day through smartphone devices. Today there are billions of devices that are in use. Over the course of next several years, by 2020 it is expected about 75 billion of <coughs> various kind of devices, you know, smartphones, tablets, internet of things, wearable devices, all of these devices will be generating data. They will be sharing data. That data will have to be consumed. It will have to be analyzed. And that th this data is going to mushroom. It's expected to 44,000 exabytes by 2020 timeframe. Just by comparison, 2013 was two exabytes. So tremendous growth in data, and all these trends of cloud computing, virtualization, big data, analytics, smart devices, internet of things, really are creating tremendous opportunity for processing of data, managing data, creating information that is of value to businesses, as well as to consumers, spawning new business models, as well as really enabling and enriching our smart digital lifestyle. So in this environment, I want to share with you that what is the value Flash brings to the data centers. But let us first understand why Flash is of value here. The data has to be processed fast, and it has to be done cost effectively as well. So traditionally, hard disk drives have been used in data centers. If you look at hard disk drive, its speed, its latency is much slower. Of course, on a cost per gigabyte basis, purely at the media cost per gigabyte, it is much lower in cost. On the other end, our classic memory, uh, DRAM or SRAM and processors, those tend to be much faster in latency, but much more costly. So as server processor speeds have really advanced, there really is a gap in terms of performance that is required to ultimately realize the full potential of what servers can really deliver. And this gap it, with the storage bottlenecks that are out there is nicely bridged by Flash. Flash sits in between with orders of magnitude better latency than hard disk drives 
and significant cost advantages over DRAM memory. Flash sits nicely in between the two, giving the benefit of capacity and cost, optimization and high performance. High performance is the key here. So Flash is really enabling faster IOPS, and also it is enabling lower cost of ownership and cost of acquisition because Flash is smaller, smaller footprint. Therefore, it takes less real estate. Flash consumes less power. It helps the data centers run cooler, saves on the utility bills. And of course, Flash, no moving parts, more reliable as well. So this ultimately translates into lower cost of ownership and lower cost of acquisition. And of course, Flash, because it is faster, it means from your rest of infrastructure of your data center, you are able to utilize as much more effectively, means you need fewer servers, you need fewer power supplies and others that further helps you reduce the cost. So Flash is, we believe, really ushering in a new era of revolution and transformation in the data center. And it's being used in all forms. It's being used as all flash arrays, server-attached flash memory, hybrids, flash and hard disk drives in combination, as well as integrated systems with converged infrastructure. Let's take a look at hyperscale. And you know, certainly hyperscale is leading the way in enabling very cost-effective services and experiences for businesses as well as for uh, users, consumers worldwide. With big data, with virtualization, with the need for data analytics, and all these billions of devices that we just talked about that are generating data, these hyperscale uh, data centers really have to be uh, growing very fast. They are growing massively, but they're also facing massive challenges in terms of scaling fast, in terms of being very flexible in enabling business models for their customers, in terms of being very responsive. So the traditional ways of doing data center designs is totally changing. If you look at uh, the likes of Web 2.0 or social media giants and their data centers, you see that uh, what they're doing is going to bare bin minimum servers, uh, going to uh, components where their data management, et cetera, is managed very differently. The requirements from those customers' uh, components are much lower. And at much higher level of architecture, with the massive scale that they have, that's where they're managing all of the aspects of reliability, security, and other aspects that traditionally in the past would have been managed just at the component level. They have to be able to scale their operations to meet the requirements of their customers in a very fast way. They have to be able to scale, add servers, deploy servers in hours rather than weeks. And this is where Flash is playing a real value proposition solution here because Flash is enabling data center to be able to operate fast. Uh, it's uh, enabling them to reduce their other uh, you know, hardware requirements, other server requirements. And with this fast performance, it's really giving responsiveness to their end customers as well. And the key is that actually overall, not only is it giving the benefit of performance, it's also helping them reduce the overall cost of ownership and cost of acquisition because of all the other benefits of Flash that I described earlier. So we talked about hyperscale, but also let me now talk about large enterprises. And Flash is really uh, being disruptive in the enterprise IT environment as well in terms of the value proposition that it's bringing. Fla enterprises today also, as Pat earlier talked about too, you know, are really looking at um, uh, going into the cloud as well as on-premise. I mean, it's uh, a balance between the two. Uh, as Pat pointed out, mostly on-premise today, but you know, over the course of next few years, certainly deploying a lot more in the cloud. Um, they are basically doing more of their customer-facing applications on the cloud more of their mission critical applications that require you know, tremendous security and, and you know, reliability aspects being managed uh, in on-premise uh, data centers. And regardless, their requirements tend to be of mission critical applications, 
continuing to run the same type of applications uh, that their business needs, but uh, the requirements are similar. They too need high responsiveness, and they too need to be able to have uh, benefits of cost structure, but the uh, components that they use tend to be high-end servers, high-end data storage, and they, they do not have the same uh, resources that your hyperscale data center, Web 2.0 large uh, enterprises have. Therefore, they actually tend to buy from storage OEMs as well as other value-added partners in terms of building their data center capabilities. In fact, we like to partner closely with them as well as with the storage OEMs along with the hyperscale customers to really understand what are the pain points of storage in variety of applications and deliver solutions that meet their requirements. So as enterprise, data, as, uh, enterprise customers, large customers, look at their data center needs, whether it be on the cloud or on premise, they are seeing that it's not just enough to move applications to the cloud, they too need to enjoy the same benefits of flash that I earlier talked about for, uh, for the hyperscale data centers. So these are great opportunities for flash uh, in hyperscale data center as well as enterprise. If you look at the petabytes that are today being consumed for flash in hyperscale and enterprise combined, you'll see about two thirds of that in, is in enterprise. When you look at uh, a few years down the road, uh, Gartner estimates it's about 50-50 that uh, in terms of petabyte utilization between hyperscale and enterprise. And this is happening when the demand for those petabytes, penetration of flash in hyperscale and enterprise will continue to mushroom and continue to become larger as I talked about earlier, that data is just uh, growing in an explosive fashion. So tremendous opportunity and tremendous value add, value proposition that Flash is bringing to the data center of today. Flash in the past was thought of as recently as two, three years ago that it's really suitable only for the top tiers of storage, for uh, in-memory compute or the Flash caching applications. But what's happening is with the value proposition of Flash, actually a lot of the legacy storage is uh, being penetrated by flash applications and it's going down all the uh, stacks of storage. In, in the future, think about, you know, as the cost of flash continues to come down and uh, the value proposition in terms of performance and cost of ownership continues to enhance, you can think about if in a Facebook application, you know, a lot of pictures and videos that are stored somewhere archived and hardly ever accessed, but whenever they are accessed, they're required to be available instantly to the user. And if, if that application is run on hard disk drives, of course, those hard disk drives, in order to have pictures available immediately, even though they've been archived for a long time, have to be spinning all the time, they consume power. So one can imagine that in the future, as the cost of flash comes down, flash can be even in those kind of archival applications for certain parts of those kind of archival applications. You know, certainly hard disk drives will continue to do well in this space as well, but flash will continue to penetrate and provide value across all tiers of storage in the future. I've talked about the attributes of flash and I want to point out that our focus is on driving innovation. I mentioned earlier driving through 17 generations of technology advancement of no node scaling of flash, uh, geometrical scaling of flash to bring lower cost, uh, higher performance, and greater value uh, to the customers. But also flash memory, it's not good enough just to have a chip. In order to use the chip to really make it reliable and to really make it high performance, you need the controller, the firmware, and overall system expertise to make it ideally suited for the variety of workload and application requirements that a solution will be later used in the marketplace. We focus on that, and this is what SanDisk has pioneered for 26 years, and we also now focus heavily on acceleration of applications of our customers, giving them solutions not that are just hardware-based, but also combining it with software capabilities. 
In enterprise storage, addressing the requirements of hyperscale and enterprise customers, we began our journey in 2011, and we have built it using the best of technologies and best of breed that was out there in the marketplace, starting in 2011 with the acquisition of Pliant technology that was focused on SaaS drives. In 2012, we acquired two software companies, Flashsoft and Schooner, to add value to our hardware solutions and work with the customers closely in terms of their application requirements. 2013, we acquired Smart Storage that helped us expand our SaaS product line as well as gave us entry into SATA drives, which are also used both in enterprise and uh, hyperscale applications. Very excited about 2014, just recent acquisition of Fusion IO, uh, an application acceleration storage solutions provider. So SanDisk, combining the expertise built over the course of last three years of acquiring these companies and leveraging our flash memory technology and system expertise and vertical integration capabilities is really well uh, positioned to be a, a strong partner to our enterprise and hyperscale customers. Uh, if you look at how the uh, flash storage solutions address the needs of the marketplace uh, in enterprise, there are really four major categories. The DDR category that tends to be the lowest latency solution. It is uh, you know, direct memory attached solution. PCIe solutions, which we at SanDisk have got through acquisition of Fusion IO. SaaS drives that tend to be highly reliable protocol, uh, used very heavily in enterprise applications. And SATA solutions that give you the best optimization of cost performance and reliability aspects. These uh, range from DDR to SATA in terms of latency, go from few microseconds of latency to few hundreds of uh, microseconds of latency. And basically, these are geared toward various applications meeting their requirements. And these products are designed to fit the application requirements of the customers. We believe we are the broadest supplier of enterprise flash storage solutions in the industry today. We have solutions spanning the entire range of latency, a portfolio that is well prepared to meet the requirements of enterprise and hyperscale customers in terms of really helping accelerate their application performance. I want to give you an example of how flash accelerates application performance. This is a case of a database management here, 100 terabyte uh, for a database administrator managing 100 terabyte with requirement of more than 150K IOPS. If you do it with hard disk drives, you have to run them short strokes, you have to use smaller capacity hard disk drive, you have to use many of them in parallel to get the performance, and of course that means more power, and you get about 150K IOPS, it uses space, 85 units of rack space. Do it with flash, you can use 25 SSDs of four terabyte each, and you get IOPS that are closer to 2,000, and much less space, four units of rack space. What this means is, in terms of IOPS, uh, in this particular example, of course, you, know, you need fewer servers as well. So when you really look at all the total cost of ownership here, going from about $1.98 per IOP in this particular example for hard disk drives to about $0.07 cents per IOP, for the, sake, uh, for the case of flash. And of course, you get higher performance, in fact, at significantly lower, in this particular example, almost 60% lower cost of acquisition and cost of ownership. In this case is 60% lower cost of acquisition and ownership because fewer cables, fewer power supplies, fewer servers because of the high speed operation of flash. I want to share with you the example of Fusion IO application acceleration solutions, which are engaged with you know, leading commercial banks, entertainment giants, government agencies, uh, medical, retail, e-commerce. I'm not going to go through all the examples here, but you can see that regardless of the vertical, flash application acceleration solution through Fusion IO really brings tremendous uh, multiples in terms of uh, performance improvements. At SanDisk, we also have software solutions that can be combined with our hardware. 
FlashSoft is an example that can be used for caching applications where you work with hard disk drives as well as uh, some SSD to really uh, monitor the IO traffic, uh, uh, the data traffic, and determine the hot data, you can put it in Flash. So FlashSoft really helps accelerate the performance by managing hot data versus uh, less used data and uh, putting it appropriately in Flash. IO Turbine is a similar caching solution that we acquired through Fusion IO. And I want to share with you Zeta Scale. And this is object-based technology. This is focused on uh, working with all Flash arrays uh, where uh, the, it's about database acceleration. In fact, uh, this particular technology, this particular solution, when you run a NoSQL, um, very popular Mongo database, uh, running SSDs with uh, uh, this um, Zeta Scale software solution from SanDisk, you can achieve a database performance acceleration by a factor of 20. Of course, if you just ran that database with SSD alone, you get a factor of about five improvement. And then combining that with the software, SSD and software gives you about 20x improvement. So I think what you can see is combining hardware of SSDs and software capabilities really brings tremendous value to the storage ecosystem. While I have you as a captive audience, I want to share with you the benefits of SSDs in professional PC computers as well. And a, a typical CIO is always dealing with the challenges of managing to budget, as well as really providing greater productivity to the employee workforce, uh, making sure that the PCs are highest performance possible. And uh, this challenge at SanDisk, we tackled it by converting all of our employee, 5,000 plus employee PCs to, uh, from hard disk drives to SSDs, and we immediately realized significant gains. In fact, in this particular example, uh, you can have a $600 per unit, per user savings, uh, because uh, you save on an upgrade cycle of a laptop PC, you get the performance improvement just by switching hard disk drive to solid state drive, and you get the other benefits of faster device, greater productivity, longer battery life, and higher reliability because Flash has no moving parts. So I hope I can show to you today that you know, there's tremendous value of Flash in data center and hyperscale applications, as well as in client computing applications, the professional PC environment. Very quickly, what does it take to succeed with Flash in the marketplace? It takes vertical integration. You have to be able to know the flash at the uh, transistor level. And at SanDisk, we have the R&D of flash memory chip technology. We produce it in millions of units every day if, if for flash, large scale production of fabs of leading edge flash memory technology. And then we have system technologies, controller and firmware, and taking it to solutions and combining it with software as well. And ultimately, working closely with customers to understand their requirements. I'm very excited about the trends that you have heard at VMworld, that you are seeing around us all the time of cloud, of big data, real-time data analytics, and now software-defined everything, software-defined storage. Uh, really pleased to be here at, at this conference. And these are all the trends that I believe bode well for Flash and for Flash to bring value to further advancement of each of these trends. And Sanders for 26 years, continuing to focus on bringing ad advanced solutions, advanced uh, uh, capabilities and expanding the possibilities of uh, uh, storage. And I really look forward to working with you all and the ecosystem to continue to really take storage and the experiences that it provides to the businesses and the consumers worldwide every day, continue to take it to the next level with you. Thank you.